Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another GTA Online video. My name is Saints Fan, and today, since we're talking, I guess, about the future with some GTA 6 stuff over the last couple of days, I thought let's talk about the next DLC. Now, obviously, yeah, look, we're still in the middle of the Casino Heist DLC, but we're all wondering, because it's just something that we all do as GTA fans, what is coming next? And last year, if we took a look at what Rockstar did with GT Line, they only released two DLCs. They released the summer DLC and they released the winter DLC, the December DLC. And of course, because that happened, we were thinking maybe this year in 2020, they would do something similar. We do know that something is happening in the summer of 2020 because one of the artists that Rockstar worked with kind of leaked it, kind of teased it, uh, whether it was intentionally or not, we don't know, but we know that something Rockstar related is coming out summer 2020. And we're obviously assuming, you know, unless GTA 6 comes out this year, that we'll get something at the end of this year in December, like we always do. But it looks like that actually might not be the case. They might go back to sort of the old Rockstar, where they release a couple DLCs and updates a year. And that's what Fun is thinking here. And obviously he can see sort of behind the scenes stuff. He can see and read between the uh, the game files lines, if you want to call it that. And what he is saying is that his initial thoughts about the next DLC is that is 80% related to open wheel races. He says, we have the open wheel races as part of the Diamond Casino Heist update, but there is no creator for it. And also, the Formula Cars are disabled from the creator mode. So when Rockstar do release them, in a couple of weeks during the drip feed with their own races, we won't actually see them in the creator mode. He says also not to mention that they have their own vehicle class in the creator, which of, or as of now, will only consist of those two vehicles. So he's saying it's just sort of obvious to him that the next update will be some sort of creator update that will feature more Formula One cars, and allow us to create our own open wheel races. And I think this is just speculation, but he's saying there might be like a cost to enter the races. However, there will be a big reward for actually winning them, which will be interesting. And we'll touch more on that maybe in a second here. But then he compares it to the import and export update a couple years back. In that update, the there was some mentions of the special vehicle races in the game files. Some of uh, the tunable variables apparently were there. And the next DLC after that import and export one was a little sort of minor DLC or update that included the special vehicle races. And he thinks the same thing is happening here. And as for when, he's saying, I don't think Rockstar is going to skip March this year without a new update. A creator update is always perfect as a spring update. And this, this makes a whole bunch of sense when you think about it. Number one, like he mentioned, the fact that six or seven years into GTA Online, Rockstar are adding a new car class. That just seems a little strange if they weren't going to add more on to it. And the fact that, yeah, they, they only have two cars at the moment, that just doesn't make a whole bunch of sense. Like, there's definitely something coming in the future surrounding that and then also the fact that everything is locked from the creator if rockstar just wanted to add some two formula one cars to the game and call it a day they would have allowed us to actually make races with these cars and not lock them from the creator but by them locking them from the creator they clearly have more plans for this class now obviously before you know we get to into speculation and all that if there was going to be some sort of march or april or some sort of spring dlc i don't think you should be expecting anything big just looking in the past the spring dlcs usually are not that good i mean yeah they might have like i don't know 10 or so cars but they're usually nothing major it's usually just some races or some basically bigger adversary modes and it is just something to hold us off until the summer dlc and it makes a whole bunch of more sense that they would release some sort of spring DLC just by looking at what the Doomsday Casino Heist DLC had. 
it reused a bunch of old content. There was so many interiors and places and things that have been in the game for forever that they reused in a pretty awesome way. Like, I do enjoy how they did it, but because of them reusing everything, that probably allowed them to work potentially more on new and upcoming content. Rather than, like, with the Doomsday Heist, they probably spent a ton of time working on that completely original and new story and gameplay. The Casino Heist was a relatively simple, uh, probably, endeavor than that Doomsday Heist. Now, the question that I have for you guys is, would you even want to see a Formula One car DLC? Like, it sounds cool, and... The whole idea of maybe you have to put up a little fee and then the winner takes all. I mean, look, that's obviously nothing new, but if they made it a pretty decent amount of money, that could get interesting. Although we all know racing, they'd have to do the, the passive mode racing. Because if you didn't, it would just be complete and utter chaos. And obviously no one wants that, especially when there's maybe, you know, half a million dollars on the line. But it, it's interesting, though, because it's like... I know racing is is somewhat of a big part of GTA, but is Formula One racing like those those racetracks usually, at least in real life, like they're not that exciting. It's it's relatively boring stuff when you think about it compared to stunt racing, for example, and even street racing. Like street racing, I think is a lot more exciting because there's a lot of other variables, whether they are you know annoying or not. You know, you have potential NPCs and stuff getting in your way. And I'm just wondering if, like, this is a thing that a lot of people want. I mean, look, Rockstar, they're trying to do something new. They're trying to add more to the game. And obviously, that's probably great. And honestly, this is probably testing for GTA 6. You know, maybe there's going to be something like this in GTA 6. And they're just trying to test it and see what works and what doesn't. But to me, it just seems like most people that play GTA would rather some sort of midnight club style dlc rather than like an f1 style dlc but of course in the comment section you guys can let me know your thoughts on that i just unless it, it might be a, a combination of the two right they could in the spring there's a reason this casino dlc didn't have many supercars so potentially that's what they're saving them for they just wanted to tease us with f1 cars and the one supercar well, maybe in the spring, we'll get more F1 cars, more supercars, maybe even more street-style sport cars, and potentially that'll make everyone happy. But it'll be interesting over the next couple of weeks to see, you know, if anything more comes out, if anything else leaks. And of course, I will let you guys know on that end. But yeah, very interesting nonetheless. Formula One DLC coming as the next DLC. Is that something that you guys want to see? The more I kind of think about it, though, just one last final thought. Aren't most Formula One races, like, super long? And I'm just wondering, I, I just, again, I'm just wondering if people in GTA would really enjoy that sort of style of racing. Obviously, there are some people, for sure. And, and, you know, the Rockstar is no stranger to releasing DLCs that potentially only, like, some people want, right? They released the... Midnight Club DLC, I mean the uh, the MC Club DLC for people who wanted to play as a, some sort of, you know, motorcycle club. Obviously, the Import Expo was kind of like a tuner style DLC. You know, they released the arena stuff for people who wanted to just go crazy. And some of those DLCs weren't the most popular. And, you know, maybe this could be something similar, but just some sort of Formula One style race. And, and the tracks, like, they're all relatively similar. Obviously, you know, there's definitely curves and differences in the tracks, but I don't think there's as much variation as, like, you would get in, say, a stunt race or something, right? So it will just be very interesting to see not only how Rockstar make this, but to see the community reaction. It is funny, though, how they've released Rockstar have, like, every single style of racing except for, like, a Midnight Club style racing. And I guess you could argue maybe the races that came with the game are like that but i feel like they needed to be updated and i think a lot of people believe that as well but yeah anyway thank you all for watching and if anything comes out on this i'll be sure to let you guys know so look forward to that but thank you all and as always i'll see you guys in the next one